Okay, we are live. Hopefully. Prayers. Cats are freaking out because they're stuck in the game room. Uh, one is stuck in and one is stuck out. Gonna do some of the old social media sharing and whatnot. Alright, so we're gonna play some PS1 stuff. A little bit, anyway. This way I can take a break from editing photos from our race this weekend. Yeah. Cause I'm starting to get burned out looking at my screen. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, which I'm sure all of you do, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. We. You're a potato, Dave. What? <laughs> the Dave just said potato, so yeah. I called him a potato. Yeah. Um, and we're not slinging game. What, Luna? Our cats are being dicks, and uh, our air conditioner is like right outside the game room. So if they bust the door open, you're gonna hear some like craziness. No, they're both trapped now. Look at her. Is that where you want to be? Would you just stay there for a while, okay? Uh, yeah. Oh, but when we're I'm not slinging, tired. slinging games, what were you gonna say? Oh, uh, when we're not slinging games, we work for a race company. So that's what we were doing this weekend. Um, yeah, buddy, half mile racing at its finest. Yeet. That's what we do. Kitty. Yeah, Mike, I was. Samler Moon. Mike, I was running around uh, with the craziness on Sunday, you know, with the wind and the weather and whatnot. It was a little crazy. Hola, Nate. What? Oh, thanks, thanks for the, thanks for the sub. You're here for the cats. You're for the cats. I don't blame you. <laughs> They're being real dicks because we just got home last night from uh, yeah. Naples. This one's on the floor, and then the other one is underneath our futon. So I don't know. They're kind of wigging out. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Also, for those watching on Facebook, you can always jump over to Twitch, Twitch.tv/radjunk. Yes, and if you have Amazon Prime and want to give us your Twitch Prime subscription, like Nate just did, you know, wouldn't be mad about it. Not one bit. So, yeah, once Joe's done doing things. Social media -ing. media -ing. Meeting. Once he's done with that, we're going to play some Rival Schools. Fun fact, I've never actually played it. We played Project Justice when we did our Dreamcast stream a couple of weeks ago, and I enjoyed it a lot. Rival Schools is pretty good, too. Thanks, Mike. I really want to drive that because I think I kind of want to, like... I'm actually am very interested in your old S60R. Um, I would like to check that out. For those who don't, don't know, Michael Kelly is selling a 2005 S60R Volvo. It's pretty quick. Uh, it's got a good price on it. Uh, Alright. Viewing a GDD. Boring. Game development, game dev document. Oh, yeah, I guess that is. High school that's delinquent beatdown. That's exactly Accurate what this game is. AF. Oh, I didn't know we were playing. Oh, a nice haircut looks good. Thanks. <laughs> Dang it, you sold the silver one. A few minutes ago. Solid timing. Alright, you chose Kyoko. I will choose that one. Okay. This game's weird. So wait, I'm, I'm, in, I'm the all caps, like, dead version of this girl? What? Oh. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually played this. Well, I mean, good. You got the sale. I also saw you bought that Trailblazer SS. Terrible choice, but whatever, I'll forgive you. 
Yeah, we were down in uh, South Florida this past weekend, racing some cars, taking photos, letting people do things. Oh god, this is just like Project Justice. Well, Project Justice is the sequel to this, so makes sense. Where are her pants? No. PlayStation 1 graphics just did not age well. No, they really didn't. This game is still fun, though. I Whoa. Did you just hump my legs to <laughs> I just broke you in half with the power of my future vagina. <laughs> I don't know. I mean <laughs> Is this game good though? This game is good. It is good. I don't know if it is. Yeah, I guess we are the same character. Like, look at the pants. Oh, yeah. Same pants. I'm just the angstier version, I guess. You're the Daft Punk version. Also, we just watched like the first three episodes oh, of Slobby's World on Netflix. <laughs> if you guys haven't watched that, check it out. Um, the main guy in it is awful. In like a oh, good I way. Okay. Red bikini bottoms are kind of a Japanese school gym thing. Okay. Mm. I was very unaware. Stay weird, Japan. What about odd motorcycle pants and pelvic thrusts for? <laughs> Special moves. These speed, right? Kind of a school uniform. Okay. Boom! Pelvic oh. thrust. Whoa! 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 <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well, okay. So you get a pelvic thrust? And then, like, a. Okay, from the other angle, it looked like a power BJ. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm still not convinced that that wasn't what that was. Oh, bullshit. I... That... <laughs> well... I don't know how to, like... But that's a girl, like, I don't... I don't you, know. you don't know that. I... Sam is better than you. Yeah, Cliff, she is. Except I keep doing the pelvic thrust and. Um, <laughs> Did that say guts up? Pelvic thrust oh, is God. a reference to hard gay? Uh, just. I don't know. Oh, no, Victory! Victory! I win. Oh, you're my new school newspaper. The school newspaper thing was in the other one, too. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe... This angsty boy. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Alright, let's see what happens. We've also got a stack of games here that we're going to check out. Um... I've got a pretty obscure PS1 collection. Yeah. I don't even know if I own any staple titles like Crash or anything. You do, because they're mine. Oh. Yeah, I don't... I, I own staple. Whoa, this chick is like... Apollo She's... Creed. Garbage. Yep. Roy the angsty boy. Yeah, exactly, Ellie. Got a lot of what is going on on the Jumbotron back there? Straight garbage. 
Let's try Akira. Luna. Psst. One of the cats is like trying to climb my light stand. Oh. So was Sakura in this game before or after Street Fighter? Uh, I think this came out after Third Strike. I think you're right, but I, I can't be sure. Yeah. I don't know how to sidestep. I'm doing it, but I don't. Okay. I landed mine first! you did. Listen, Loon. I need you to not be right there. Come here. 3D fighting games are hard. Come here. Come here. Come here. Quit being weird. Come Sam's cheating. I'm not cheating. Come here. You have a tortoise too? I feel like cats that have that coloring are insane. Like literally. Well, that's like a thing. They, they call it like tortitude. Tortitude? Because tortoise have a... Look you know, how edgy problem. Edge is. Whoa, he looks like he belongs in Power Man 5000. Looks like a virtual fighter character. Oh. Power thrust. This guy does not need Is he wearing Nike Air Mags? Yeah, he is. Except he's... No, my guy. He's weak. Whoa, got projectile. Hey, Linda. How's it going? What's up, Linda? I'm glad you're gonna catch a stream too. Yeah. Mm. I'm the angsty ginger boy. Are we both angsty ginger boy? Yep. Oh, we are. Ginger on ginger violence. Yeah, Linda, we try and stream every uh, Tuesday. Tuesdays and Sundays. And then I try to do uh, Thursdays where I play racing games to fit my racing job. The racing boy persona. Edge does look like he'd be used to sweep a porch. He looks like he would work at Gadzooks circa 1999. Probably be wearing Spencer's. soaps. Boom. No problem, Linda. We like to play a bunch of random stuff, too. Also, we're on Twitch. We've already said it. Twitch.tv slash Radjunk. It's probably the best place to watch us. Or the Facebooks. Or the YouTubes. You want to do one more round and then uh, switch something else? Yeah. So while we're playing, I'll tell you what the other games are that we have. We have Wipeout 3, Speed Punks, Toe Ball Number 1, Irritating Stick, and Builder's Block. I just picked the weirdest stuff I could find. Honestly. So you tell us what you would like us to play. Yeah, and a Wipeout is a fantastic series. I also have Wipeout XL over there. 
which is a very cool one. I think that has the better soundtrack, if I'm not mistaken. Thanks, bro. Dude's head is on fire. Oh, I wasted it. <laughs> Let's use a base punch. Why is his attack just like becoming a tornado? I mean, a tornado is a pretty powerful thing. I, yeah, but you gotta land it just right. Okay, this guy sucks. Meow. Why are you always whining? Oh my god, I took up like three quarters of the screen. What? <laughs> Kenneth saw her copy on PS1 from when it came out. That's amazing. This guy looks like a um, Gorgon? Is it Gorgons? Ha! Bear hugging the dead. The uh, team attacks in this are pretty crazy. Oh shit! Yes. That's freaking garbage. <laughs> that was so close. Ugh. This game's trash. Are you gonna play or not? No. Yeah, I don't think he's a high school student either. These are the teachers? Probably. He might be a janitor. Because this guy that I'm also playing is. He's got a big scar on his face. I don't think he's a. You could be in high school with a scar on your face. Yeah, but not like this guy. This guy's not a student. I don't really like 3D fighting games, but this one is kind of... It's at least funny. Luna, what are you doing? Get off the PlayStation. Next up on the syllabus, yes, that is fantastic. <clears throat> All right, I have had enough of this game. This game is great. Is this two discs? Yeah. Why? Because one of the discs is an arcade disc, and the other one's like the story mode or whatever. Oh. So that's Rival Schools on PS One. I'm surprised this worked because this disc is ripped. You can buff it out tomorrow. Um, have to take it to the shop. Hmm? Alright, wipe out three. Ooh, soundtrack featuring the Chemical Brothers, Orbital, <laughs> Underworld, Propeller Heads, Paul Van Dyke, and new mixes by world renowned DJ Sasha. You guys should play Hunchback of Notre Dame for PS1 next. I don't know. If I didn't I even know that. they made that. I don't have it. You know what they made on PS1 that not a lot of people know? Little Mermaid 2. That is a true fact. Oh, we're probably going to get freaking copyright violation on this. Eh, Whatever. Well, you know, it wouldn't be the worst thing we got flagged for. Shocking content. Yeah, we've been flagged for shocking content before. What was so shocking, I don't know. Tony Hawk 2 has a fantastic soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. I think Jurassic 5 is on that soundtrack. Rob Zombie did the <clears throat> Nightmare Creature soundtrack, didn't he? I believe he did. Noises. Uh, Kate and Ashley mall game. If I had any actual CDs to like put in, I have a whole. I have oh, about yeah, 300 I have the CDs. The huge ass binder that we found in the store. Yeah, so we have this binder from, like, uh, the 90s, well, late 90s, early 2000s 
of music and it's fantastic. Ellie can't read. <laughs> Oh, this isn't spread out very well. Someone yeah. needs to do a comprehensive game by game retrospective on the Mary Kate and Ashley games. I mean, we've been talking about I it, do to it. be honest. I'm sure I have probably all of them in the shop, so. You know, maybe, maybe that'll be one for the Sunday show. <clears throat> I know that Aaron over at Retro Liberty at one point had a lot of the Mary Kate and Ashley games. Okay, analog does work for me on this. Okay. Oh shit, mine's not on. That's why it's not working. Yeah, that's good. So this game moves pretty good for, um, you know, a Pews PlayStation game. game. Yeah, except... Oh, God. The menu screen, it, I couldn't even read it. Yeah, it's hard to... I mean, it didn't age very well. Luna, stop. I think we've talked about it before, but I don't think any PS1 game uh, that is 3D aged incredibly well, with the exception of maybe Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer looks pretty good. Because, like, the way that the polygons are shaped on PS1 games with the triangle polygons or whatever they are not the greatest and they went for like an edgier more quote unquote realistic Adult. looking thing whereas like the Nintendo 64 was cartoony and colorful so I think that 3D ages much better gosh dang it Sorry I'm not, like, reading comments right now. <laughs> I'm trying to focus on the game. <clears throat> Was it... What did they play in Hackers? When he first goes to the club and he challenges Angelina Jolie to, like, a high school. Oh. Uh, I can't remember. Ace Combat to Smell 2, okay. Gran Turismo 2 Arcade, sure. Okay. Ridge Racer is good. Very, very good. Do we rematch? Or is it? Oh, Dang it. Also, uh, if you own a PSP, I think it's Wipeout XL, or no, it's one of them. Whatever's on the PSP is very good iteration of Wipeout, if you're into these futuristic cover racing games. Luna, quit being a douche. Looney. Stop being the way that you are. I think I ran into my own minds. No. Quit it. Suck one. So it was wipe out. Okay. 
Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, there is something like about the jagged look that's not awful but it's really odd like it's just I don't know I mean it's kind of charming in a way just cause it takes me back but I feel like if I had never seen this before you know I'd be like wow that's Do I have awful. a second alright you try to like all right, so audience, all like four of you. Uh, what should be next? Speed punks, toe ball number one, irritating stick, or builder's block? You don't want to go again? No, we're gonna go one more time, but we're gonna let them choose while we're doing another race. can't read any of the text. Yeah, I just picked the one that looked coolest. Picked the, like, Metroid Samus looking one. Okay. No, we picked the same thing, so. Oh, God. This it's one's fast. A lot quicker. And... The track is, it's like, dark. very dark. <sighs> so you can't really see. Oh, God. <laughs> this is awful. I mean, if I could read, I probably would have picked a better track, but I couldn't read any of it, so. Oh, my gosh. This is oh, terrible. <laughs> I literally oh can't God. see anything. I think I just blew up. I died. Mm. Now I have to wait for you to win. Dang it. This is garbage. Unfortunate. Do you guys get to watch Sam race? Yeah. That's what they're here for anyway. Everyone was like, man, I hope they, like, Sam would just be playing Wipeout by herself. That's why I really didn't watch. I will surely <laughs> blow myself up soon. Yeah, the menus on this on an LCD TV are impossible to read. It's not good. Even with the minimal upscaling that this thing does. <sighs> Watch me run into walls and so what was everybody's PlayStation favorite PlayStation game? I think we asked the same question when we played the PlayStation Classic. But now that we're playing actual PlayStation games, we'll ask it again. Well, was, well you don't have a PlayStation. I did later on. Oh my god, I'm so going. Um, I used to really like Ape Escape. And that first Harry Potter game. And I mean, obviously Crash and Spyro. You know. Then there are... I'm trying to think of what else. Because I didn't have a PlayStation 1, but I would always play it at my uncle's house. And I remember watching him play Final Fantasy 7 and being like, wow, this is really boring. And I kind of still feel that way about this game. What up, Greg? Hey, Greg. The day Vice City was a PS2 game. Uh, Ellie, we're going through... We sell these things at the shop, and really, they're not much of an upscaler. They help a little bit, but um, it's mainly to convert like RCA connections to HDMI, and they work fine for the purpose that they serve. But oh, I died right before the end. Just kind of meh. Um, and then we're running that, so we're running the PlayStation into that, then into the Elgato. So so a little weird, but it works. It's functional. I need a proper upscaler, though. I'm probably going to have to bite the bullet and just buy a freaking Framemeister soon. Oh. 
Still is it new? It's new. Someone took the plastic off but never took off the sticker. Hold on, wait. Do we open it? I'll show you how to open sealed PS1 games. Oh. Oh, there's a trick. <gasps> there's a trick. It's been tainted. I so, see it because there's dust on these. So sealed <gasps> PS1 games are sealed across the top with this plastic, right? But what you can do is take this hinge right here that always breaks, just slowly slide it up, then you can get your game out. Then boom, right there. It's Leave that new. sticker on. Except it's not. Yeah, Tomb Raider was a good one though. Um, I used to play the crap out of that one too. Yeah, OSSC is another option um, that I've looked into. I just, I haven't had enough time to look into it. And like, it's the same thing that I go through with my PVM. I need to figure out how to get the right BNC connectors to go to SCART, to go to whatever else I need. Um, Nate says, Street Fighter EX Plus Alpha. I like most of the classics, including Final Fantasy VII. Tomb Raider was great. Yeah, I mean, there were a lot of games. Yeah. And Ellie says her favorite was Final Fantasy IX. I pirated that game when it came out. I know. So I was the only kid in school with a mod chip. God, you were like that kid selling like bootleg games out of your trench coat. Yeah, I kind of was. <laughs> okay, so it's like that. Okay. I can't so move my player. Mine wasn't moving. Oh, okay. Okay, we're, we're just like normal. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm gonna play it like I play Puzzle Bobble. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, but like, what it? But all it's all they're they're just disappearing. Is if you shoot it into the corner, it makes it bigger. Um, How do I make them blow up? Okay. Oh, what? Why? <gasps> Not really. You have to hit it. In the <laughs> uh, put that one there. It's hard to focus when I'm like just frantically trying to stay alive. No! No! <laughs> the end Ah oh, crap Okay, uh, sorry I'm not reading comments. This is really intense right now. Yeah, bitch. Crap.
Oh god! Build some buildings, build all the buildings. See what that does. No! I don't know what's happening right now. Oh, Parappa the Rappa and Twisted oh, Metal 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this game's kind of fun. I expected a lot more than that. Who made this? Why do I have this? Because you have really weird stuff. Mm. It's not good. Yeah, like, I don't know how you... How do you win? Because it resets you. And it's kind of hard to, like, line up with the pieces that you want to hit. Once again, this is called Builder's Block, for those watching. I don't know why I own this. This is a testament to how weird my PS1 collection is. So it's counting out of a hundred. Okay. Cause... What are we at? I'm like afraid you're... to quit looking at the damn screen. Cause you're at like 22 out of a hundred, and I'm at 12. So maybe there's some kind of goal here that we're not really understanding. I think we're supposed to build buildings. That's what we're all trying to do in life. I suppose. Oh, Luna! to get to 100, but I'm not really sure what. I think it has to do with combos, but I can't understand. Alright. So I'm gonna look up how to play this game. Gosh dang it. 
Can't get the colors I need. Need to clear space. Zero. All right, I think we have to build up. Am I trying to make a town here? Like what? I think so. Like essentially. Oh shit. No. all this get all these guys yellow if you guys have a ps3 um, yeah we do the problem is that we have a ps3 though is that uh, we couldn't stream because of HDCP and it was kind of crap because we're going to use our backwards compatible PS3 to play PS2 and PS1 games. But yeah, we weren't able to. Sony said, oh no, you're not. You ain't doing it. Which is kind of some BS, but you know, whatever. It's because Sony makes bad products. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, HGCP sucks. There's ways around it, um, but it all seemed very complicated and sort of convoluted. I don't understand. I don't understand how I get how I get, become done with this game. I don't do the thing you done told me. Don't do it. And then like sometimes the bricks change to colors that they're not. Yeah. I understand. All right. I think you have to build the buildings. Yeah, you do. Cause then I'm I'm at 69 out of 100. Now I'm back to zero. So I guess you have to get the right combination of shit. Build the city. On rock and roll. Mm -hmm. I also accidentally keep shooting corners. <gasps> what? Are you fucking kidding me? I shot one in there, and my whole freaking building went away. That's good. Whatever, you love this game. I just want to complete a round. Yeah. I'm I, sure you guys are extremely bored watching this. There's there ain't no stopping us now. Cause I gotta, I gotta know. I really want pizza. That's not the way either. Is this a damn joke?
Yes, it's City Tetris. <laughs> it's called Builder's Block on PS1. It's some weird shit. Like, I don't even I don't know how to know explain. How, to win. how do I win? <gasps> this is how I win, right? No. Fuck you then. Okay. Right? No? So what'd you do? How do you win? I hit the little random the pair thing. pieces. Okay, well, that was, uh... Ugh. Really long. For a round. And, um... Where's the case? This is called Builder's Block. City Tetris. It's made by Jalico. Enter the world of Builder's Block. The Gash and Dash universe. Universe? Try your gaming skill at the ultimate build and destroy game. Try one of the three hair raising modes puzzle, battle, or arcade. Hours of fun building up your universe with the power to destroy it. The bigger the building, the more points you get when it falls. Say what? It's crazy, but true. Builder's Block has colossal graphics, lightning fast gameplay, and wacky sound effects to really put you inside the action. Yeah, hours of fun because it takes a damn hour to complete a round. <laughs> it's, uh. It's an odd one for sure. Yeah, I'm I'm not here for it. I don't really know, like... Ooh, this is red. Here, put that one back in the case. So we can maintain its seal of quality. <laughs> this is probably a Walmart bargain bin game for a while. I'm sure. It's still a bargain bin game. This is like the peak of Jalico's greatness. Did Jalico ever have any greatness? Sure. I can't think of a single, like, Jalico greatness. I can't either. <laughs> this is Speed Punks. It's scratched to hell, so I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll see. We'll take it to the shop and resurface it. So I run this page called Hacking Humanity, and basically I set it up just so it put tech news into my feed. Um, but I get these messages from these random people saying I have a question can you help I have a question can you help actually I'm actually hacked meaning my life since, <laughs> since San Francisco got me in two projects that were completed that made me an avatar a drone that I'm having problems with this magazine Roblox mm. and Facebook business in the city of Menlo Park one hacker way that's controlling me oh. And I keep getting hacked on my accounts. Can you help me getting to get to Mark Zuckerberg or Regina Dugan attention for their Maven and Ultimate Communication project? And then he left his phone number. Is oh, anybody? You should, you should call him. Six six one three nine zero eight eight six three. He pasted that directly into Google Translate. Hey Heather. Hi Heather, you suck. Oh my god. You know who sucks? Luna. I'm gonna get you. She's in a bitey kind of mood. Yeah, so, uh, people ask me all the time. <laughs> why they He's together hacked. English of a space alien. Exactly. He Well, he's brainwashed by the drones and the Avatar, so... Yeah, I don't even know what, what's going on anymore at this point in anybody's life. Alright, so this is Speed Punks. Oh, I'm gonna pick the one that looks like me. <laughs> you know what the beauty of having a uh, three letter name is? Put it on every high scoreboard. So if anybody wants to call that uh, person. So this might be the best kart racing game ever. Oh, uh, we haven't unlocked. Don't I have a Speed Punks poster somewhere? You have a Speed Punks demo disc. Mm. 
Probably Zuckerberg <laughs> with the way that was written. You just like lubricate his organs. People always ask me if they if I can help them contact Zuckerberg. Why? No. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> They're like, I've been hacked. I'm a robot. I don't know what's happening. Oh. The cat just fell off the futon. Because you're a little idiot. Are you going to play or not? No. I'm distracted by Luna. You want to restart? Yeah. See, Mario Kart has trained me to not trust the start. Well, I mean, there's a trick to it, to all of them. You gotta hold it down. Well, Mario Kart, you gotta hold it down to, like, the last light. Yeah, but there's, like, a certain timing on that last light. Where yeah, you which, like, it. sometimes you get it, but mostly you don't. I think that this game is actually better than Crash Team Racing. Do you know? And it deserves How a do I remaster. Use my... <gasps> more so than CTR. This is really shitty to control. Okay. How do I use my uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I said it. Fight words. Positive about that actually. Yeah, but like who freaking played this game? Not enough people. Nobody. Well they should have, because this game is fantastic. <clears throat> this is like this takes every great kart racing game which there are a lot of and almost makes it as good as Diddy Kong Racing you think that Diddy Kong Racing is the best kart racing game? yeah just always think about Sarah and like how much she despises that game I'm really only familiar with little Mario Kart when it comes to kart games. Plot kart was never a thing, <laughs> so the perfect one never came out. Plot kart. Wow. Listen, we can make plot kart happen. It's just gonna have to be on the NES since I only know how to use NES Maker oh and nothing else. Oh my fucking god, the controls on this are shit. No, they're not. They're, they're amazing. Absolute shit. This game is fantastic. This game is trash. No, it's not. <laughs> trash garbage. This game is amazing. This game belongs in the dumpster. Yeah. I win. This game's fun. This game's really good. I think that you can use the multi-tap with this one and do four players. Uh, I believe you can, actually. Yeah, you can. This is Speedpunks. And it's a bad game. It's not a bad game! I mean, let's be honest. Look at the level design. This looks much better than Crash Team Racing. It's got analog control. I'm playing with the PS1 analog controller, not the DualShock, but the analog controller. So no rumble motors. Motherfucker, dude! God damn it! I'm trying to turn his fucking analog stick on. So angry. You got a little bit of boost with R2 as well, by the way. Yeah. You can build it up. And then L2 is to fire your weapon. I will 
will say, at the time, PS1 had some great racing games. <laughs> as soon as you hit a wall and you lose it, you fuck. Not entirely true, but... Mm -hmm. Hydro Thunder is a good game too. Hydro Thunder is a good game. It's better on 64, but who's who's asking? Uh, the definitive version is actually on the Dreamcast. I was about to say probably the Dreamcast version is the best. I feel like anything that was in the arcade that had a port was better on the Dreamcast. Oh yeah, well I mean it's basically a Naomi, but for your house. Yeah, exactly. doing a hundred and something miles an hour. I just want to go fast. Hundred forty. Straight into the wall. Final lap. A little drift action going. Why do I keep slowing down? Because you have no charge. <laughs> Dang it! Did you shoot me? Yeah. Oh, bastard. I swear to God, if you win based on that one shot. Oh my god, no! Got hit by a bomb on the finish line. Sometimes the port was better, like Soul Calibur looked much better on Dreamcast, and it had my boy Cervantes. Dreamcast is obviously the superior console to everything that came out around that time. There's no doubt in my mind of that. Although if this game was on the Dreamcast, it would still be bad. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> Not right, Lumi. What do you think? Keep purring if this is a bad game. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Yeah, Sam's a devil. Alright, I'm done with this. Next! <laughs> okay. Another weirdo 3D fighter. What is this one? Toe wall number one. Oh, God. But did you know that there's a specific Final Fantasy disc that goes in it? Gotta have the right shade of blue font on there. This is not the right one. This is Toe Ball number one. You can tell by the cover this is gonna be bad. Guess who it's made by? Squaresoft. Ooh. I believe this is the precursor to Air Guys. can't remember which came out first. I think this did. Speaking of which, I have an Airguys PCB somewhere to put into the Tekken Tag cabinet that we have at the shop. And I cannot find it. You mean they tainted Enix. Unskippable cutscenes, my Fantastic. Favorite. Oh my god, I remember the first time I saw graphics like this, I was Man, like, this is I amazing. Was blown what away. is that? That looks like a Star Wars character. Yeah, it looks like a I'm getting a something. I'm starting to think Sam doesn't <laughs> like Final <laughs> Fantasy. I don't know what gave you that idea. 
<laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not much of a Final Fantasy fan either. Um, I don't. I've never completed a Final Fantasy game. I just Whoa. don't. I don't have the patience for turn-based RPGs. I'm always really interested in the stories, but like, my god, I don't have the patience to finish them. <laughs> That's Mr. Tobal, His Majesty Lord Tobal the First. <laughs> okay, all right. Give me some background, Jerry. I like it. I remember hearing about this game when I was in middle school, but not believing it actually existed. Oh, I think we played this on the show. Can't be friends anymore. Yes, we can. <sighs> we can be friends. <sighs> oh, the movement in this, the animation's really good. It feels like Virtual Fighter. This does not feel like Virtual Fighter. This feels very disconnected and odd. And I'm gonna be that guy. I need to. You can't even look at the move list. No. Pick the goddamn robot. I did, Jerry. <laughs> I picked the robot. The animation's fantastic. It's very smooth, but the inputs are very slow. Friendship ended with Rad Junk. Now no one is my best friend. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus, Ellie. Well. That hurts, but okay. <laughs> I love how the character is almost named E. Peen. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is really bad. <laughs> Wee -oo! Wee -oo! I have no idea. <laughs> How to play? <laughs> no, do not continue. This is bad. All right, I'm gonna be this like Walmart Akuma. <laughs> this is the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but I think Air Guys is better. Oh, we're putting air guys into that Tekken machine at the store, and we'll see what's better. People like air guys, I think. I do not understand the buttons. They're, they're, I'm trying to do like a grab, and that's that's not a thing. I think this. Is... Okay, the O button does nothing. Wait, hold on. Okay. So it's a three button fighter? I think so. I think it only uses triangle, square, and X. So I need a Genesis controller, is what you're saying. But like the, the OG. A lot of these guys remind me of Akira Toriyama characters. I can. I'm not exactly sure who that is. So this is like the most basic of basic fighting games. Okay, L1 jumps. R1 blocks. Okay. That's a whip, that's a kick, and that's a punch. Whoa. This is, uh... Miserable? Yeah, this is bad. It's like fucking fucked up Pokemon evolution here. The angsty boy. This is this is really bad. What if you were a kid and you like really wanted Street Fighter and your parents bought you this after clearance bin instead? I don't know if this would be in the clearance. Do you run away from home or what? I mean, I kind of did a dragon punch just now. I mean, don't get me wrong, the animation's good, and I'm sure there's some depth to this. Oh, that's right. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, if you look at the character select screen, it's almost dead on. I can probably tell you. Just beat me up. Let me. Do I don't have the damn manual for this. Do. Oh, there it is. Okay, I got a grab out of it. No, you were like, I really want Tekken. And you got this instead. If you run away from home, you won't be there to punish them for their sins. I don't know. I'm gonna throw my PlayStation through the window. <clears throat> Just kidding, because... My parents would have actually murdered me. She is thick. You got, you got Thick Girl versus Peter Pan. Tinkerbell's Revenge. I mean, at least his She's movements. so slow. His movements are kind of quick, so that's... Get the mall ran. So this dude is wall with his noise. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. This is Whale? this is bad. This is real bad. She's like a brawler. That, yeah, she's definitely a wrestler type. Malmaran, Malmaron. Well, I think that was, think that was all the, all the characters. If we, if we went through the list. Did we? Yep. Alright, pick your favorite. Final showdown. Bach does nothing. No! Oh, I can counter. <laughs> okay. Oh so maybe there is some depth here. Okay, so when you go into a grab, it's almost like rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Dollar General Link. Great value link. Clover Valley Link. Alright, well, that's been, that's been a fun time, guys. Oh, that was bad. Alright, we're a little over the one hour mark. Sam hates going over an hour with the stream. I never said that. We have one more game. What do we have? Irritating stick. Oh, crap. In this case is... I'm hungry. I want pizza. Somebody order me a pizza. Alright. It's another Jalico Jim. And our last game of the night. What was I thinking when I bought all these? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not leaving Dustin. Ever I again. I have to go back to my office job tomorrow. Boo. 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 I'm off tomorrow. Yay. That loom, she's gonna get you. Jalico. No, right, Moon. Moon is fat. Yeah, she's a little chunky. Hey, chunky. <laughs> Imagine asking your parents for irritating stick for your birthday. <laughs> Good mom, it's right to eat for everyone. That's what I would have 99, to say. 99, wow. A shy national broadcasting? Antikarako? Huh. So, this is the game Irritating Stick. 
It's nothing but a maze, you and the stick you carry. 100,000 volts. Racing against time or choose head to head competition in over 100 3D mazes that are guaranteed to irritate, challenge you for hours. One player and two player modes plus a tournament mode for up to eight players. Three distinctive courses, each with multiple mazes, based on the smash hit t Japanese TV show. Okay? And design your own mazes and with edit mode. It's shockingly fun. Interesting. Okay. Well. Okay. So basically we run through a maze. You said this is based off a Japanese TV show? Yeah. What is happening? Um, we're just going through the maze, I guess. Oh, and you're not touching the edge. Got it. Can you use analog in this? Okay. Well, yeah, analog makes it a little harder. Oh. God, what the hell? Okay, this is fucking weird. The best Japanese TV oh. show is the one where the wall tries to push the guy into a pool of water. But has an oddly shaped hole, and the player has to contour into it so they don't lose. <laughs> yes. Yep, we're gonna start playing that at the shop. I've seen that before, and it's funny. God dang it. It's very irritating. My stick is irritated. You shouldn't tell Fuck! That. This game irritates my stick. Press triangle, you get like a three dimensional view. Why did I just win? I have no idea. If you press start instead of X, it'll let you play the course instead of going back to the menu. Degree. Okay. It's almost too irritating. It's the first degree of TV courses. Challenge course. God fuck. There's no, like, easy way to move. This is bullshit. This, this game what this requires is. a lot of precision and concentration. This game requires a lot of drinking. No, because I feel like if you were drinking and playing this game, it would be horrible. This is hard enough sober. Let's take a look at the courses. Let's select the course. 
No, you can't get any Final Fantasy Seven. No. We don't. don't. We don't even own. Final I, I don't. VII. I don't have any copies of that game. Not even at the shop. Oh my God. <gasps> I'm kidding. We have like 45 copies of that game. I almost have as many Final Fantasy Sevens as I do Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. Oh my God. Ah! Hey, oh fuck this. <laughs> this game is straight bitch. <laughs> I didn't even touch the fucking wall. <laughs> if we were drinking and playing this, I'd decide to play a better game. You're not wrong. So basically, if I don't move and just let you run into the wall a bunch of times, I'll always win. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's any speed runs out there of this game. Sure thing. If not, I think, you know, someone should start. Not me. This is so weird. <laughs> Jared, I totally forgot about that. If you do, that would be rad. People speed run anything, so probably. I would like to, like, complete one. Plus, like, why does it do this three-dimensional view? Oh, I guess so you can, like, understand what you're doing. So, do you just, like, on the sh Japanese show, do they just get the shit electrocuted out of them if they, they touch must. it? They must. Because that's just so, so Japan, you know? You can prank naked people in Japan. You can what? You can't do that in America. You can do what? Prank naked people. Like... Oh. What does that mean? Pranking people while they're in the shower. Oh. Like I saw this one on Facebook, and the guy was th it was a, like some kind of bathhouse or like a gym or something. I don't know. And they were taking showers, and then they had a like a grudge looking chick come out of the ceiling vent and just like watch them while they were showering. Oh and then God. the dudes would just like fall on the floor and be all covered in soap and like running out no, naked. No, that's terrible. And I'm like, dude, and I'm watching it, and I'm like, dude, in America you would get that shit suit out of you. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Irritant icons. Break them in the shower with 100,000 volts. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, they would, though. Because I mean, you just can't sue people for that in Japan, evidently. This is so weird. Because that ain't gonna fly in here in America. You know who would be really good at this game? Tell me. Yep. Because he has the focus. That's what you want to call it. And the tism. Gah, fuck. I hate how, like, the hitbox can be so off. Like that. So this is, like, kind of like Operation, I guess, a little bit, but harder. There has to be a better way to I play I agree, this. like, what is the... F Irritant select? What is that? No, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to... This is PlayStation Mouse compatible, too. This would be so much easier with a mouse. Kidding me? We are going to have Tony speedrun this, actually. So, analog con it suggests analog control or um, the mouse. So, circle increases speed. 
X reduces speed. Square chooses your irritant. Just shock him in real life every time he fails. I'll do that. Uh, triangle changes your viewpoint so you can see your current selection. L1 and R1 scroll through course edit. Parts menu. So those are only used for parts. Based on the wildly popular segment of the Japanese television show, Uchan Nanchan's Blazing Challenger, the object of Irritating Stick is to traverse a three-dimensional labyrinth. Sounds easy, eh? Well, think again. The maze is electri electrically charged and will deliver a good shock if you touch any part of the edges. Keep in mind, folks, just to make things really interesting, we've placed a time limit on each of the mazes. Run out of time and you will have to settle for mere consolation prizes. Well... All right, let me try this, like, solo, just to see if I can do it. So, in versus play, irritants can be your best friend or your worst enemy. To use irritants, set the irritant option to on, then select one of the four irritants, hallucination, <laughs> spotlight, inertia, and crazy camera. Use these as weapons to slow down, confuse, or just plain irritate your opponent. Hallucination. Wait, there's three sticks? No, four? Watch the one in the middle. Spotlight shuts the lights off on your opponent. Blah, 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 crazy camera, inertia, blah, blah, blah. I can't even pull- I don't need the irritants because I can't even beat it. Oh, no. I don't need a replay. Nate, we might need that, uh, taser. How about we give away free games for anybody willing to tase themselves? Why would we not? That sounds like a liability issue. No, it's not. It'll be fun. Shit! What's going on? Damn it. To make a good flash game, but imagine having <laughs> bought it at a full price game. Uh, I know, right? Try. Let's do one more and uh, turn on irritants, and let's do one more versus game. What? Oh, so it rates you. That's too bad. Why is the bird flying away? Because I suck. I would have already set this game on fire in the yard. Yeah, this is... I don't know, it's kind of weird. In like... I want to be able to do it, though. Like, I'm really frustrated because I haven't even beat a thing yet. Have a bunch of people sit next to him and shout, Watch out, you're too close to the edge. Oh my gosh, he'd be sweating. Turn your irritants on. That little, uh... Electric thing is... Uh... Alright, so truth be told, I don't think this is the worst game that I've ever played. It's actually huh, kind of fun in a way because it makes you want to... Hallucination always. Um, it makes you want to keep playing just because it is that frustrating. <laughs> so I just used hallucination on Sam. Wait, what was the button to use irritants? Square. Oh god. What's wrong? Motto for 2019. Watch out, you're too close to the edge. Yeah, Jerry, I mean, it, it is game-like. Like, it is a game. 
It's <laughs> not the worst game. That's what I say about a lot of things. Well, this is this is a game. I don't know if I'd call it fun. It's tough. It makes you want to keep playing. We're still here, so... Oh, that's fantastic. What? How did I win? It's more entertaining than Tobo was. The only thing I liked about that was the dumpster fire to your character designs. <laughs> I mean, okay, so the animation in Tobo was fantastic. It's kind of like uh, the game on Turbo Graphics, China Warrior, mm. where like it's just to show off the sprites and whatnot, but everything else about it sucks. Huh. <sighs> Why am I moving? Put on some Xeno gears. Absolutely not. I tried to play that game a long time ago because one of my good friends really Shit. loved it and always talked about it. And, uh,. I couldn't even get through the intro. Y'all with the RPGs, man. I don't... I don't get them. I'm sorry. I don't even think I own any RPGs for PlayStation. No. I might own one. Because Charles Xavier was like, y'all's game collection sucks. And I was like, that's because there's not any weeb games in here. So, like, no, you're right. <laughs> um, I never played Resident Evil 2. I think I played a demo for it or something. So I don't have that same like affinity for it that everyone else does. However, I do think I'm going to pick it up. Probably so I can, get it. So I can, that way we can play the remake and kind of see what everybody is always clamoring about. Um, as far as the Resident Evils go, I think I only played Code Veronica. For anyone who played the demo, did they update the uh, the walking mechanics so you don't have to like turn? And I believe then walk, they did. And then turn and then walk, because if they did do that, then I will I will go back and play it. But if it's like that, I don't I don't have any interest. <sighs> do we have any shmups? Uh, probably. Let's see. No, I didn't play the first one. I think legitimately the only Resident Evil I played was uh, Code Veronica. Um, Jerry says he didn't play it personally, but he's heard that it does not use the tank controls anymore. You said weep games. I did. Oh, did you? I was talking about how Charles Xavier was talking crap about our, our game collection. Yeah, Sam's harsh on the weep games. No, I'm not. Let's see what an advanced course looks like. I'm sure it's miserable. There we go. Thank you, Shooting King. It's an Etsu making. Oh, I have not played that yet. I've heard good things. Bro, I don't even know Silent Hill. My PS1 collection is just full of, like, super obscure stuff. Like, Irritating Stick. Yeah. Did anybody know anyone that owned this game back in the day? Sam is a hater. Nah. I just like to talk Wait, are you gonna get Kingdom Hearts? No. No? Nah. 
Because maybe I am just a hater on that. I think I used to be into it, and I was really excited that it was finally coming out. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And then I watched, I watched the trailers for it, and I was like, uh, I just don't like this anymore. Also, Sam's birthday is on Friday. It is. See what irritating stick goes for. No. It's all in jest. I don't have a problem with RPGs or people who play them. I just like to talk trash. I say it. And oh, I don't you... personally play them, but I know that a lot, a lot of people do, so I'm probably the wrong one here, but it's just, you know, personal preference. Jeremy, I was talking about my personal collection. So irritating sticks like a $30 game. Why? Thanks, Ellie. <laughs> it's upside game. Yeah, my personal PS1 collection looks ridiculous. A copy of Final Fantasy XIII. <laughs> Fantastic. I got like 10 copies at the shop. Oh, I hope this game's good. I hope I've been it meaning is too. to play it. It's not Sume, it's probably okay. So this is, uh, we're going to say Gekio by Natsume. Oh. Serious fun. The back is very lackluster. Birthday bits. Whoa. Aww. Thanks, Nate. Thanks, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. It's not even my birthday yet. Twisting alien dogfights, towering armor mech, smoldering molten metal. Brilliantly rendered arcade game that spans galaxies filled blah 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 blah. Okay, I'm in. I like it. Oh boy. Wait, why am I game over? Press start. I did. I just wanna turn this in. Add credits? This isn't the controller that the start button is. Right? No. Oh crap. Okay, this game looks fantastic. Controls fantastic. Music sounds good. The only downfall is it's made by Natsume. Well, Natsume's good. <laughs> it's serious it's fun. It's serious fun. Dang it. I can see where this would be better with two players. I wish you could figure out how I to play. I wish I could... See? I... Oh, there we go. Well, maybe. Uh, triangle and circle are your specials. Mm -hmm. Oh, lightning weapons. Always the worst. This is another one of those games that's just a weird thing that I have in my collection. Don't know why. I think I picked it up at trade night. I was gonna say. I, cause, well, because I remember Todd being mad about it because he was like, bro, you know I like Natsume. And you were like, no, you can't have it. Yeah, and I was like, Todd, this is what happens because we both like the same games. Ah, no ammo controls. Dang it, I can't get back in. Sam said me and you can't go to Arizona, Joe. Found a minty germcast kiosk that looks like it. It's so far. That's, it's really far away. Farthest I'm willing to go for a Dreamcast. 
kiosk would be like how do i add credits i i don't know i i just pushed a lot of buttons i mashed my controller until it let me Wow. Yeah, exactly. I'm like trying to read the book so I can figure out how to do this. Hey, the lightning weapon! There's a pocket mode. Pocket mode is blockbuster graphics in the most basic form. Though in this case you're busting up block shaped symbols and ships and aliens. Retro shooter theme. There's a comical mode. The more you blast, the more o the audience laughs. There's an ancient mode that puts it in like black and white. Gecky mode, easy mode, hard mode. So I just used a credit to start the game. Somehow I did it and I was able to come in. But Figure out what you did? Nope. The vibration function on this kind of messed me up because, like, it vibrates and they think that I'm dying. What? But I don't really know for sure if I am. Spend time reading the booklet before I start a game to see about the backstory. Okay, that's uh, understandable. That's fair. They don't really include booklets anymore, though. Like Nate said, it's yeah. mostly advertising. Some BS. I mean, not that I, I never really read the booklets anyway, but, you know, sometimes. Either that or it's like some code for uh, things that probably should have just been included on the disc. Yeah. You know, I'd say, like, who reads the manual? Which is mostly true until you need to fi actually figure out what to do, like just now. Yeah, we still didn't figure it out. We still, yeah. Oh, I wasted it. Yeah, we did it. I like this game. But I think I like all shmups. Psst, psst. Bartleby. That bean. Cats Bartleby. are just rolling around Wish on the floor. You would be this cute on camera. We'd get so many more viewers. Music 
game is is really good. Oh, I'm dead. Crap! This game's cool. I like that it's 2D. Me too. I like 2D shooters a lot. 3D shoot 'em ups are really hard for my eyes to follow. Ikaruga isn't times. bad. No, well, Ikaruga's got like the color thing though. Fuck me. It's very contrasty. But like, what was that one with Castle Shikigami that we were playing? And it was really cool, but like I got lost. Yeah, that was three D with two D backgrounds, and it was it was good. I got lost in the depth a lot. Like I kind of lost where I was at. No, what do you stop? I don't know how you add credits. I did something to do that, but I don't know what I did. I don't know what the difference between them is. Why can't I join the game? There's nothing in the booklet about adding credits. It says press select. I tried. Unless the select button on my controller is broken. You press select. A bunch of times. Ah. Uh, oh, there it is. How did you not press select the entire time? I did. I thought I did. Maybe that's the one random button that I did accidentally push. Before I finally got in. Who knows? Who can say? I was sitting over here pressing select on my controller and it wasn't doing anything, so I just assumed it didn't do anything on hers or that she tried to press it. I'm a moron. You assumed wrong. <laughs> By the way, this is hard mode. Well, yeah, I know. Some don't blow me up. Let's start. <laughs> so that show you were talking about with you in another universe, do they not deal with lasers or something? Basers. Basers. <laughs> um, oh. It's just weird. They deal with, like, knockoff clothing. Like, bootleg clothing. It's really weird. Eyes are so dry from like staring at the screen. Can't read. Yep, game FAQs is the way to go. Why easy mode? I don't know, because we already did the other two modes. Yeah. 
Bartleby, quit licking your butt. Maybe right here. <sighs> this might be too easy for me. Well, you know, we haven't gotten to a hard part yet. I will probably still die, so. to the right. I'm just going to start a stream where all I do is play shmups. Shmup stream? Yep. That's pretty much this stream anyway, though. No, we haven't not. we haven't done a single stream where we didn't play a shoot up. We haven't done a single stream where we didn't play a racing game. That's not true. We haven't done a single stream where we haven't played a fighting game. That is true. You know, we just like fighting games and shooting games. And that's okay. That's who we are. Now. Yeah, we did it. Yay. the lightning. Oh boy. God dang it. I want to scratch my nose and I Fucking got hit. Some of the uh, on-screen explosions hide the fact that there's a bullet coming towards you, but overall the enemy fire is, uh, it contrasts enough to let you know that it's not part of the background. I hate that this is easy mode. Why? <laughs> Just makes me feel like I'm really bad at games.
I mean, it feels like a schmup easy mode. Hmm. This is the only way I can get this far. <laughs> no, we could have done it on the regular mode. We got about halfway through it earlier. Come here, Bean. Bean. That's oh, cool. This reminds me of Space Bank, of course. Mm -hmm. You can talk about a hard game. You can love that one. It's pretty hard. thing about shmups, two player shmups, is that that's when it makes it hard to see things. I agree. Schmops where your bullets will actually hit the other player? Um, now that I can think of offhand. Because I can't think of any, but... I'm sure they exist. I was just thinking, like, that would be some shit. Most of the ones that I play are relatively bullet hellish. Yeah. So I don't think if they had two-player modes they would do that. I just can't see it. That would be like a whole new level of tough. Dick. Twin shooter invaders is one, apparently. One game I really want that I have not purchased yet that I should is Troubleshooter on Genesis. Oh yeah, I don't know why. That game's kind of pricey, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know though, there's a lot of good Genesis, Genesis shmups that we don't own. You uh, need to get closer if you're going to use that bomb. Awesome, Darren. We'll s hopefully see you Friday, and then uh, also February 2nd is trade night, so two weeks. See you, Darren. I'm probably not going to last much longer either, but uh, now that we're this far into this game. Yeah, I know I can't stop, but I am also ready to go to bed, so. Can uh, somebody give me a... Google check on Gekio G E K I O H how many stages this game has. It's Gekio Shooting King on I almost said Dreamcast. Mm -hmm. PS1. Because if it has like six stages, we're just gonna beat it. If it has like ten stages, then we're gonna I'm trying to be on like a real people sleep schedule. Imagine that. Eight levels. Um, what are we on? On four. Add credits, quick. I did. Add more. I had like six credits. You have to add more. I, well, 
We're done now. Oh no, we're still good. Yeah. Yeah, there's five credits here. The basic formula for shmups is very old and easy, but a lot of people don't get it right. Also, vertical shmups over horizontal shmups any day. I agree with that completely. Right into the damn thing. I think it got last. I don't know what it is. Oh god. Cool boss. Cool boss alert. Oh, I hope we don't fuck up that he disappeared. Oh, I just wasted that. Clear. This game's actually fun. It is fun. He's always talking trash about it. How we never finish Probably. games. Because we don't. He's not wrong, but... <laughs> it was really bad. When I was streaming NES, I would get all the way to the last level of a game, or like the last boss, and I just wouldn't finish it. Dang it, I hate the freaking lightning weapon. Shit. Hmm. Okay, we're moving through the levels pretty quick. That was bullshit. That was bullshit.
pin in the corner. Dozing off as I, I know, I'm like, I need to go to bed. This whole being an early riser thing is great until it isn't. It's got arms. people. And it's your hands. You shame. gave the worst high five you ever shame me. Now. I gotta pause. I'm responding to a business text. I'm also curious what this goes for. It is a business text. It's about our races. Vecchio PS1. Oh. Oh. Oh no. It's about a 30. Eh. Okay. Continue. What is your place in this room? My business text. So tired. Must lightning. Continue. So I'm wondering. To those of you watching who are left, would you prefer us to play many different random games for a few minutes and then move on? Or would you like to see us get like really into one game during these streams? Mm -hmm. Like what what is more interesting for you guys to watch? I'm genuinely curious because, you know, obviously I want you to watch. I want you to wanna watch. So the next like colored power up that comes up, let me get it because I hate the light. Depends on if you're really into the game, then yeah, burn through it all. If not, sampler platter is good. Sampler platter, I like it. Okay. Just curious. Because uh, as far as sampler platters go, especially with PS1, we could show you some 
really hurt. God dang it, I got the stupid lightning again. This is where you're meant to be. Boss. Joke over the night, damn stupid lightning. Yeah, I hate weapons like that. I don't like things where I don't have a lot of control over the direction that they shoot in. That we said the 10 was too many and 6 was fine and then we got 8. I know. Wow. Did not realize I couldn't touch the asteroids. No, don't touch the asteroids. They are your enemy. Dang it, even small ones. You got asteroids in the background. They, you can't really tell. And asteroids explode spaceships. This is a new concept, and they should make a game that <laughs> spaceship and asteroids in it. No. I can't see against this background. <laughs> I could call it space rocks, space as they rocks. should. Did I just spend to win? Yeah, no shit. Okay, this is an arcade game. It takes so many dollars. God dang it. Mm. Oh god. Well, bye. Yeah, that was kind of bullshit. It was kind of bullshit. All of this is bullshit. All right. One more stage. Uh, <sighs> and then we'll go to bed. We can do this. Yes. Just in case. No. 
Fuck! Try to get away from the blue thing. That was very cool animation. It was. <laughs> Charles Xavier says you were dead AF. Feel dead AF. Yeah. You missed the part of us complaining about how we were tired and we just want to beat this game so we go to bed. Oh. Oh no. This is cool as shit though. Yeah. God dang it. Fighting Xeno Gears, that's what it feels like. You said you didn't play RPGs. I don't, I play crap like this. Boys, top. Dang it. Ah. Credits, add credits.
Oh my god. Did we do it? Did we do it? Yeah, Victor, your screen sucked. <sighs> oh my yeah, God. we beat a game. Yay! On easy mode. On easy mode, but you know it's it's cool. We did it. Done did it. Pets. Oh no, it's bedtime. Pocket mode. What the? F I just want to see what it looks like. I like the knockoff Game Boy. It's cute. Man, I love Gundam. Yeah, so there's This like, is cool. There's a bunch of different modes on this. Do you have to like unlock them as you yeah. beat it? Yep. Well, I guess that kind of makes up for the lackluster finish screen. Easy mode is best mode. Past a point in my life where I feel like I can't play on easy anymore. Same. I'm with you there. Because I'm bad at games and I just want to enjoy them. <sighs> Everything strives to be too hard these days. Yeah, like everyone's like, ooh, Dark Souls. I'm like, I don't want a game that's like miserable to play. I just can't get behind that. That's why I like platformers so much, because they're not so hard, I guess. We'll do some Dreamcast stuff uh, next Tuesday. Yeah, we did Dreamcast like two weeks ago. Played a lot of fighting games. I think it was a hard list. It wasn't very long ago. We already played all of our Dreamcast games. I have to wait for people to forget how long we spent playing uh, Project Justice. Boss coming, oh shit. Okay, well, that was neat. I'm done. I'm done. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. I'm ready to go to bed. I'm tired. That's been some weird oh. games on the PS1. Yep. Um, I'll probably jump on Thursday, play some Forza, talk about car stuff. Um, then after that, Super Sunday show. Tomorrow night, you can catch Dylan and Tony. They'll be streaming something. That is overcompetitive underscore gamer. Or we'll just host it here. That too. Jerry, Charles, Wes, or not Wes, uh, Nate, Ellie, Darren, all you guys that were here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget, you can always catch us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash radjunk, or on Facebook or YouTube, wherever. Um, or across the medias. Sunday show. Sunday show. Hey right, Jerry, while you're here, the second is trade night, so you better request. Off February second, trade night. All right, guys, I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. Uh, we'll catch you later.